Uh, Mr. Quinn, as to uh, indictment number 2021 GS4707 count one to perjury, the sentence of this court is you be uh, on her detention for a period of six months. On count four for perjury, again, you will be committed to home detention for a period of six months. On count 11 for perjury, again, six months home detention. And on in uh, count 12 uh, for perjury, again, uh, six months home detention. Uh, count 2021, I'm sorry, same indictment number. Count 13 for obstruction of justice. Uh, you are to be on home detention for a period of 18 months. Those are all run concurrent to each other. As far as your home detention is concerned, you obviously are in a stable home. You will remain at home. Um, you are permitted to go to work, visit your lawyers, attend medical visits and medical management. Um, you are able to go to church and any church activities that are involved. Uh, you are also able to attend any of your grandchildren's significant life events such as birthdays and graduation. Um, sir, um, I am also ordering that there be no electronic monitoring, but you must be available for uh, random video um, or telephone conferencing, which is why we need to make sure we have a good landline and also some type of video access or video chatting for probation to be randomly able to just contact you. Um, Mr. Quinn, the import of this is, is that you're not to be about town. If this is confinement, obviously this is in lieu of um, prison time and giving your health. Um, I certainly understand why the state has negotiated this and why uh, you have uh, accepted this uh, plea in North Carolina versus Alford uh, to protect that. Um, also, it is going to be a Richmond County probation that's going to monitor you during this uh, time period. Uh, and again, those uh, are all to run concurrent to each other. On the final indictment, sir, it was negotiated, the final count of obstruction of justice, it was negotiated that a sentence of 10 years suspended to two years probation uh, run consecutive, consecutive to your home detention. So um, again, probation will monitor you on that. Um, if you are fully successful with your home detention and you are doing well on your probation, um, sir, obviously the probation department can always petition the court to terminate your probation early, earlier if there's no violations. Um, you're a person that's at very little risk of anything. Um, I know you're not going anywhere. Um, typically in these cases, you know, we monitor people because we want to make sure they don't commit any further crimes. Um, this is not that situation. Um, and it tends to be more for um, people who are younger. And But um, obviously there will be some confinement to this and some, you know, uh, controlling your whereabouts. Uh, but I do think Mr. Barnett, this is a good resolution um, and I appreciate it. Uh, and again, I appreciate the finality of this uh, for everyone in this matter.